In the next few videos, we'll be looking at algorithms to list decode Reed Solomon codes. Before we do that, we will need to record a few useful facts about bivariate polynomials. First, what is a bivariate polynomial? Okay, well, a bivariate polynomial over the field FQ is a bivariate polynomial over the field FQ. That is, it's a polynomial Q in two variables, X and Y. And we use this notation, F sub Q square brackets XY to denote the set of all such bivariate polynomials over FQ. And these are just polynomials of this form. So that is, it's the sum over i and j of some coefficient, alpha ij, that lives in fq, times the monomial x to the i, y to the j. Some jargon, we say that the x degree of q is mx, that's the maximum of this sum here, it's the maximum degree on x that appears in the polynomial. The y degree similarly is my, the maximum degree on y that appears in the polynomial. The degree or total degree of a monomial x to the i, y to the j is just i plus j. And the degree or total degree of the whole polynomial q is just the maximum total degree of any monomial that appears in q. So for any bivariate polynomial q of xy over fq, we can actually view this as a univariate polynomial in y whose coefficients are themselves univariate polynomials in x. That is, we can write q of xy as q of xy is equal to the sum from j equals 0 up to m sub y of q sub j of x times y to the j, where this q sub j of x is a univariate polynomial in x of degree at most m s of x. Just as a quick example, if q of x comma y is equal to, say, x squared minus y times x minus y. So we can expand this out and get a sum of a bunch of monomials. And if we want, we can group together the terms according to the powers of y to say that this is equal to x cubed times y to the 0 plus minus x minus x squared times y to the 1 plus 1 times y squared. And so these are the univariate polynomials in x that are the coefficients of this polynomial when viewed in this space. It's sometimes useful to think about bivariate polynomials as univariate polynomials with coefficients that are themselves univariate polynomials, because nice things happen for univariate polynomials, and those same nice things can happen for bivariate polynomials when viewed in this way. In particular, here's a true fact. Suppose that q of xy is a bivariate polynomial over fq, and let f be a univariate polynomial in the variable x. Then suppose that q of x comma f of x is identically equal to zero. So by this, I mean that all the coefficients are equal to zero. Then the fact says that is equivalent to saying that the polynomial y minus f of x divides q of xy as polynomials. This should look kind of familiar. It basically says that if f of x is a root of q of xy, in the sense that when I plug in f of x for y, I get zero, then y minus that root divides the polynomial. We've already seen this in the case for univariate polynomials. So for example, if there were no x, and we just had a univariate polynomial in y, then we know that, for example, if q of alpha is equal to 0, that means precisely that y minus alpha divides q of y. And so this is saying that exactly the same thing is true if we replace this alpha with some polynomial in x. To illustrate this, let's see an example. So let's say that q of xy is the example from the previous slide. That was x cubed minus x plus x squared times y plus y squared. Now I claim that if we plug in x squared for y, we're going to get a polynomial that is identically 0. So we get q of x comma x squared 
is equal to x cubed minus x cubed minus x to the fourth plus x to the fourth. Everything cancels, and this is just zero. So our fact says that x squared minus y should divide q, which is true because we originally defined q as x squared minus y times x minus y. Okay, let's erase this example so I have room to write a corollary. A corollary of this fact is that right, literary polynomials don't have too many roots. Uh, yes, thank you, Polly. Yeah, so a corollary is let q of x comma y be a bivariate polynomial over fq so that the degree in y is equal to d. Then I claim that there are at most d polynomials that are quote-unquote roots of this bivariate polynomial. That is, there are at most d polynomials f of x over fq, so that q of x comma f of x is identically equal to zero. As Polly was saying earlier, this essentially means that low degree polynomials don't have too many roots, where here low degree refers to the y degree, and roots refers to polynomials f of x that I can plug in to get something identically equal to zero. Here's a quick proof of the corollary, assuming that fact. So suppose that there are lots of f's so that q comma f of x is equal to zero. Let's say that q of x comma fi of x is equal to zero for d plus one different values of i. Then by the fact, that implies that the polynomial, which is the product from i equals one to d plus one of y minus fi of x must divide q of xy. But this polynomial has degree d plus one in y, and this polynomial has degree only d in y, and that's a contradiction. So if you believe this fact, then this corollary follows. Okay, so those are a few useful facts about bivariate polynomials, and we will use those in the upcoming videos to design list decoding algorithms for Reed-Solomon codes.